Vietnam UK, US, listen, Vietnamese, Vietnam pronounced Viet and M, listen, officially the Socialist Republic of Vietnam Vietnamese, Cong Hoa Exa Hoi Chu Nia Vietnam, is the easternmost country on the Indochina Peninsula. With an estimated 94.6 million inhabitants as of 2016, it is the world's 15th most populous country, and the 9th most populous Asian country. Vietnam is bordered by China to the north, Laos to the northwest, Cambodia to the southwest, Thailand across the Gulf of Thailand to the southwest, and the Philippines, Malaysia and Indonesia across the South China Sea to the east and southeast. Its capital city has been Hanoi since the reunification of North and South Vietnam in 1976, with Ho Chi Minh City as the most populous city. The northern part of Vietnam was part of Imperial China for over a millennium, from 111 BC to AD 939. An independent Vietnamese state was formed in 939, following a Vietnamese victory in the Battle of Bac Dang River. Successive Vietnamese imperial dynasties flourished as the nation expanded geographically and politically into Southeast Asia, until the Indochina Peninsula was colonized by the French in the mid-19th century. Following a Japanese occupation in the 1940s, the Vietnamese fought French rule in the First Indochina War. On 2 September 1945, President Ho Chi Minh declared Vietnam's independence from France under the new name of the Democratic Republic of Vietnam. In 1954, the Vietnamese declared victory in the Battle of Dien Bien Phu which took place between March and May 1954 and culminated in a major French defeat. Thereafter, Vietnam was divided politically into two rival states, North Vietnam officially the Democratic Republic of Vietnam and South Vietnam officially the Republic of Vietnam. Conflict between the two sides intensified in what is known as the Vietnam War with heavy intervention by the United States on the side of South Vietnam from 1965 to 1973. The war ended with a North Vietnamese victory in 1975. Vietnam was then unified under a communist government but remained impoverished and politically isolated. In 1986, the Communist Party of Vietnam CPV initiated a series of economic and political reforms that began Vietnam's path toward integration into the world economy. By 2010, it had established diplomatic relations with 178 countries. Since 2000, Vietnam's economic growth rate has been among the highest in the world, and in 2011, it had the highest global growth generators index among 11 major economies. Its successful economic reforms resulted in its joining the World Trade Organization WTO in 2007. Vietnam is a member of the Association of Southeast Asian Nations ASEAN, Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation APEC, and the Organisation Internationale de la Francophonie OIF. <laughs> Etymology The name Vietnam, Vietnamese pronunciation, Vt Na M, is a variation of Nam Viet, Chinese, Nan Yu Pinyin, Nan Yue, literally, Southern Viet, a name that can be traced back to the true dynasty of the 2nd century BC. The word Viet originated as a shortened form of Bac Viet, Chinese, Bai Yu Pinyin, Bai a group of people then living in southern China and Vietnam. The form, Vietnam. Yunnan is first recorded in the 16th century oracular poem Sam Trang Trinh. The name has also been found on 12 steles carved in the 16th and 17th centuries, including one at Bao Lam Pagoda in Haiphong that dates to 1558. In 1802, Nguyen Phuc An established the Nguyen dynasty, and in the second year, he asked the Jiaqing Emperor of the Qing dynasty to confer him the title King of Nam Viet, Nanyue Nan Yu in Chinese after seizing Annam's ruling power but the latter refused since the name was related to Zhao Tuo's Nanyue which includes the regions of Guangxi and Guangdong in southern China by which the Qing Emperor decided to call the area as Vietnam instead. Between 1804 and 1813, the name Vietnam was used officially by Emperor Zha Long. It was revived in the early 20th century by Fan Boi Chao's History of the Loss of Vietnam, and later by the Vietnamese Nationalist Party The country was usually called Annam until 1945, when both the imperial government in Hue and the Viet Minh government in Hanoi adopted Vietnam. History
Topic: <laughs> Prehistory Archaeological excavations have revealed the existence of humans in what is now Vietnam as early as the Paleolithic Age. Homo erectus fossils dating to around 500,000 BC have been found in caves in Lang Son and Nguyen provinces in northern Vietnam. The oldest Homo sapiens fossils from mainland Southeast Asia are of Middle Pleistocene provenance, and include isolated tooth fragments from Tham Om and Hang Hum. Teeth attributed to Homo sapiens from the late Pleistocene have also been found at Dong Can, and from the early Holocene at Mai Da Diu, Lang Gao and Lang Cuom. By about 1000 BC, the development of wet rice cultivation and bronze casting in the Ma River and Red River floodplains led to the flourishing of the Dong Sun culture, notable for its elaborate bronze Dong Sun drums. At this time, the early Vietnamese kingdoms of Van Lang and O Lac appeared, and the culture's influence spread to other parts of Southeast Asia, including maritime Southeast Asia, throughout the first millennium BC. <laughs> <laughs> Dynastic Vietnam The Hong Bang dynasty of the Hung kings is considered the first Vietnamese state, known in Vietnamese as Van Lang. In 257 BC, the last Hung king was defeated by Thuc Phan, who consolidated the Lac Viet and O Viet tribes to form the O Lac, proclaiming himself an Duong Vong. In 179 BC, a Chinese general named Zhao Tuo defeated an Duong Vong and consolidated O Lac into Nanyue. However, Nanyue was itself incorporated into the empire of the Chinese Han dynasty in 111 BC after the Han Nanyue War. For the next thousand years, what is now northern Vietnam remained mostly under Chinese rule. Early independence movements, such as those of the Trung Sisters and Lady True, were only temporarily successful, though the region gained a longer period of independence as Van Zon under the anterior Li dynasty between AD 544 and 602. By the early 10th century, Vietnam had gained autonomy, but not sovereignty, under the Cuc family. In AD 938, the Vietnamese Lord Go Kian defeated the forces of the Chinese Southern Han state at Bok Dang River and achieved full independence for Vietnam after a millennium of Chinese domination. Renamed as Dai Viet, Great Viet, the nation enjoyed a golden era under the Li and Tran dynasties. During the rule of the Tran dynasty, Dai Viet repelled three Mongol invasions. Meanwhile, Buddhism of Mahayana tradition flourished and became the state religion. Following the 1406-7 Ming Ho War which overthrew the Ho dynasty, Vietnamese independence was briefly interrupted by the Chinese Ming dynasty, but was restored by Le Loi, the founder of the Le dynasty. The Vietnamese dynasties reached their zenith in the Le dynasty of the 15th century, especially during the reign of Emperor Le Tan Tong (1460-1497). Between the 11th and 18th centuries, Vietnam expanded southward in a process known as Nam Tien, southward expansion, eventually conquering the Kingdom of Champa and part of the Khmer Empire. From the 16th century onward, civil strife and frequent political infighting engulfed much of Vietnam. First, the Chinese supported Mac dynasty challenged the Le dynasty's power. After the Mac dynasty was defeated, the Le dynasty was nominally reinstalled, but actual power was divided between the northern Trinh lords and the southern Nguyen lords, who engaged in a civil war for more than four decades before a truce was called in the 1670s. During this time, the Nguyen expanded southern Vietnam into the Mekong Delta, annexing the central highlands and the Khmer lands in the Mekong Delta. The division of the country ended a century later when the Tay Son brothers established a new dynasty. However, their rule did not last long, and they were defeated by the remnants of the Nguyen lords, led by Nguyen An and aided by the French. Nguyen An unified Vietnam, and established the Nguyen dynasty, ruling under the name Zha Long. <inaudible> <inaudible> French Indochina Between 1615 to 1753, French traders have engaged in trade in the area around Dang Trong and actively spreading Catholic missionaries. Following the detention of several missionaries as the Vietnamese kingdom feel threatened with the continuous Christianization activities, the French Navy received approval from their government to intervene in Vietnam in 1834 with the aim to free imprisoned Catholic missionaries from a kingdom that was perceived as xenophobic against foreign influence. Vietnam's kingdom independence was then gradually eroded by France that was aided by large Catholic militias in a series of military conquests between 1859 and 1885. 
In 1862, the southern third of the country became the French colony of Cochin China. By 1884, the entire country had come under French rule, with the central and northern parts of Vietnam separated in the two protectorates of Annam and Tonkin. The three Vietnamese entities were formally integrated into the Union of French Indochina in 1887. The French administration imposed significant political and cultural changes on Vietnamese society. A Western-style system of modern education was developed and Catholicism was propagated widely. Most French settlers in Indochina were concentrated in Cochin China, particularly in the region of Saigon and in Hanoi, the capital of the colony. Guerrillas of the Royalist Convong movement massacres around a third of Vietnam's Christian population during the colonial period as part of their rebellion against the French rule, but was defeated in the 1890s after a decade of resistance by the Catholics as a reprisal of their earlier massacres. Another large scale rebellion, the Thai Nguyen Uprising, was also suppressed heavily. Despite the French developing a plantation economy to promote the export of tobacco, indigo, tea and coffee, they largely ignored the increasing demands for civil rights and self-government. A nationalist political movement soon emerged, with leaders such as Fan Boi Chao, Fan Chao Trin, Fan Din Phung, Emperor Ham Gi, and Ho Chi Minh fighting or calling for independence. This resulted the 1930 Yen Bai mutiny by the Vietnamese Nationalist Party but still managed to be suppressed heavily by the French although the mutiny have caused irreparable split that causing many leading members of the organization become a communist converts. The French maintained full control over their colonies until World War II, when the war in the Pacific led to the Japanese invasion of French Indochina in 1940. Afterwards, the Japanese Empire was allowed to station its troops in Vietnam while permitting the pro-Vichy French colonial administration to continue. Japan exploited Vietnam's natural resources to support its military campaigns, culminating in a full-scale takeover of the country in March 1945 and the Vietnamese Famine of 1945, which caused up to two million deaths. First Indochina War. In 1941, the Viet Minh which is a nationalist liberation movement based on a communist ideology emerged under the Vietnamese revolutionary leader Ho Chi Minh who sought independence for Vietnam from France and the end of the Japanese occupation. Following the military defeat of Japan and the fall of its puppet Empire of Vietnam in August 1945, anarchy, rioting and murder were widespread since Saigon's administrative services collapsed. The Viet Minh occupied Hanoi and proclaimed a provisional government, which asserted national independence on 2 September. Earlier in July, the Allies decided to divide Indochina into half at the 16th parallel to allow Chiang Kai-shek of the Republic of China receive Japanese surrender in the north while Lord Louis Mountbatten of the British received the surrender in the south with the Allies agreed that Indochina belonged to France. However, as the French were weakened as a result of German occupation, the British Indian forces together with the remaining Japanese Southern Expeditionary Army Group were used to maintain order and to help France re-establish control through the 1945-1946 war in Vietnam. Ho Chi Minh at the time chose a moderate stance to avoid military conflict with France by which he asked the French to withdraw their colonial administrators, and asked for aid from French professors and engineers to help build a modern independent Vietnam. These requests, including the idea for independence, however could not be accepted by the Provisional Government of the French Republic, which dispatched the French Far East Expeditionary Corps instead to restore colonial rule, causing the Viet Minh to launch a guerrilla campaign against the French in late 1946. Matters also turned worse when the Republic of China gradually fell to the Communists in the Chinese Communist Revolution. The resulting First Indochina War lasted until July 1954. The defeat of French and Vietnamese loyalists in the 1954 Battle of Dien Bien Phu allowed Ho Chi Minh to negotiate a ceasefire from a favorable position at the subsequent Geneva Conference. The colonial administration was ended and French Indochina was dissolved under the Geneva Accords of 1954 into three countries Vietnam and the kingdoms of Cambodia and Laos. Vietnam was further divided into north and south administrative regions at the demilitarized zone, approximately along the 17th parallel north, pending elections scheduled for July 1956. A 300-day period of free movement was permitted, during which almost a million northerners, mainly Catholics, moved south, fearing persecution by the communists. 
The partition of Vietnam was not intended to be permanent by the Geneva Accords, which stipulated that Vietnam would be reunited after elections in 1956. However, in 1955, the state of Vietnam's Prime Minister, Go Dinh Diem toppled Bao Dai in a fraudulent referendum organized by his brother Go Dinh Nhu, and proclaimed himself President of the Republic of Vietnam. At that point the internationally recognized state of Vietnam effectively ceased to exist and was replaced by the Republic of Vietnam in the south and Ho Chi Minh's Democratic Republic of Vietnam in the north. Topic. Vietnam War Between 1953 and 1956, the North Vietnamese government instituted various agrarian reforms, including rent reduction and land reform, which resulted in significant political oppression. During the land reform, testimony from North Vietnamese witnesses suggested a ratio of one execution for every 160 village residents, which extrapolated nationwide would indicate nearly 100,000 executions. Because the campaign was concentrated mainly in the Red River Delta area, a lower estimate of 50,000 executions became widely accepted by scholars at the time. However, declassified documents from the Vietnamese and Hungarian archives indicate that the number of executions was much lower than reported at the time, although likely greater than 13,500. In the South, Diem countered North Vietnamese subversion including the assassination of over 450 South Vietnamese officials in 1956 by detaining tens of thousands of suspected communists in political re-education centers. This was a ruthless program that incarcerated many non-communists, although it was also successful at curtailing communist activity in the country, if only for a time. The North Vietnamese government claimed that 2,148 individuals were killed in the process by November 1957. The pro-Hanoi Viet Cong began a guerrilla campaign in the late 1950s to overthrow Diem's government. From 1960, the Soviet Union and North Vietnam signed treaties providing for further Soviet military support. In 1963, Buddhist discontent with Diem's regime erupted into mass demonstrations, leading to a violent government crackdown. This led to the collapse of Diem's relationship with the United States, and ultimately to the 1963 coup in which Diem and NHU were assassinated. The Diem era was followed by more than a dozen successive military governments, before the pairing of Air Marshal Nguyen Sao Kentucky and General Nguyen Van Thu took control in mid-1965. Thu gradually outmaneuvered Kentucky and cemented his grip on power in fraudulent elections in 1967 and 1971. Under this political instability, the communists began to gain ground. To support South Vietnam's struggle against the communist insurgency, the United States began increasing its contribution of military advisors, using the 1964 Gulf of Tonkin incident as a pretext for such intervention. U.S. forces became involved in ground combat operations in 1965, and at their peak they numbered more than 500,000. The U.S. also engaged in a sustained aerial bombing campaign. Meanwhile, China and the Soviet Union provided North Vietnam with significant material aid and 15,000 combat advisors. Communist forces supplying the Viet Cong carried supplies along the Ho Chi Minh Trail, which passed through the Kingdom of Laos. The communists attacked South Vietnamese targets during the 1968 Tet Offensive. Although the campaign failed militarily, it shocked the American establishment, and turned U.S. public opinion against the war. During the offensive, communist troops massacred over 3,000 civilians at Hue. Facing an increasing casualty count, rising domestic opposition to the war, and growing international condemnation, the U.S. began withdrawing from ground combat roles in the early 1970s. This process also entailed an unsuccessful effort to strengthen and stabilize South Vietnam. Following the Paris Peace Accords of 27 January 1973, all American combat troops were withdrawn by 29 March 1973. In December 1974, North Vietnam captured the province of Phuoc Long and started a full-scale offensive, culminating in the fall of Saigon on 30 April 1975. South Vietnam was briefly ruled by a provisional government for almost eight years while under military occupation by North Vietnam. Reunification and reforms 
On 2 July 1976, North and South Vietnam were merged to form the Socialist Republic of Vietnam. The war left Vietnam devastated, with the total death toll standing at between 966,000 and 3.8 million. In the aftermath of the war, under Le Duan's administration, there were no mass executions of South Vietnamese who had collaborated with the U.S. and the defunct South Vietnamese government, confounding Western fears. However, up to 300,000 South Vietnamese were sent to re-education camps, where many endured torture, starvation and disease while being forced to perform hard labor. The government embarked on a mass campaign of collectivization of farms and factories. In 1978, as a response towards the Khmer Rouge who had been invading and massacring Vietnamese residents in the border villages in the districts of An Giang and Khien Giang, the Vietnamese military invaded Cambodia and removed them from power after overtaking Phnom Penh. The intervention was a success, resulting the establishment of a new pro-Vietnam socialist government, the People's Republic of Kampuchea which ruled until 1989. This action however worsened relations with China, who had been supporting the Khmer Rouge where they later launched a brief incursion into northern Vietnam in 1979 and causing Vietnam to rely even more heavily on Soviet economic and military aid with the mistrust towards the Chinese government began to escalate it. At the 6th National Congress of the Communist Party of Vietnam CPV, in December 1986, reformist politicians replaced the old guard government with new leadership. The reformers were led by 71-year-old Nguyen Van Linh, who became the party's new general secretary. Linh and the reformers implemented a series of free market reforms known as Doi Moi renovation, which carefully managed the transition from a planned economy to a socialist-oriented market economy. Though the authority of the state remained unchallenged under Doi Moi, the government encouraged private ownership of farms and factories, economic deregulation and foreign investment, while maintaining control over strategic industries. The Vietnamese economy subsequently achieved strong growth in agricultural and industrial production, construction, exports and foreign investment despite through these reforms also have caused a rise in income inequality and gender disparities. Geography Vietnam is located on the eastern Indochinese peninsula between the latitudes 8 degrees and 24 degrees north, and the longitudes 102 degrees and 110 degrees east. It covers a total area of approximately 331,212 square kilometers 127,882 square miles. The combined length of the country's land boundaries is 4,639 kilometers (2,883 miles), and its coastline is 3,444 kilometers (2,140 miles) long. At its narrowest point in the central Quang Binh province, the country is as little as 50 kilometers (31 miles) across, though it widens to around 600 kilometers (370 miles) in the north. Vietnam's land is mostly hilly and densely forested, with level land covering no more than 20%. Mountains account for 40% of the country's land area, and tropical forests cover around 42%. The northern part of the country consists mostly of highlands and the Red River Delta. Fansipan also called as Fan Shi Pang, which is located in Lao Cai province is the highest mountain in Vietnam, standing 3,143 metres high. The Red River Delta in the north, a flat, roughly triangular region covering 15,000 square kilometers, 5,792 square miles, is smaller but more intensely developed and more densely populated than the Mekong River Delta in the south. Once an inlet of the Gulf of Tonkin, it has been filled in over the millennia by riverine alluvial deposits. The delta, covering about 40,000 square kilometers (15,444 square miles), is a low-level plain no more than 3 meters (9.8 feet) above sea level at any point. It is crisscrossed by a maze of rivers and canals, which carry so much sediment that the delta advances 60 to 80 meters (196.9 to 262.5 feet) into the sea every year. Southern Vietnam is divided into coastal lowlands, the mountains of the Annamite Range, and extensive forests. Comprising five relatively flat plateaus of basalt soil, the highlands account for 16% of the country's arable land and 22% of its total forested land. 
The soil in much of southern part of Vietnam is relatively low in nutrients as a result of intense cultivation. Several minor earthquakes have been recorded in the past with most occurred near the northern Vietnamese border in the provinces of Dinh Bien, Lao Cai and Sun La while some are recorded in the offshore of the central part of the country. Climate Due to differences in latitude and the marked variety in topographical relief, the climate tends to vary considerably for each region. During the winter or dry season, extending roughly from November to April, the monsoon winds usually blow from the northeast along the Chinese coast and across the Gulf of Tonkin, picking up considerable moisture. The average annual temperature is generally higher in the plains than in the mountains, especially in southern Vietnam compared to the north. Temperatures vary less in the southern plains around Ho Chi Minh City and the Mekong Delta, ranging from between 21 and 35 degrees Celsius .8 and .0 degrees Fahrenheit over the course of the year. In Hanoi and the surrounding areas of Red River Delta, the temperatures are much lower between 15 and 33 degrees Celsius .0 and .4 degrees Fahrenheit while seasonal variations in the mountains and plateaus and in the northernmost are much more dramatic, with temperatures varying from 3 degrees Celsius .4 degrees Fahrenheit in December and January to 37 degrees Celsius .6 degrees Fahrenheit in July and August. As Vietnam received high rain precipitation with an average amount of rainfall from 1,500 mm to 2,000 mm during the monsoon seasons, this often causes flood especially in the cities with poor drainage system. The country also are not exempted from being affected by tropical depressions, tropical storms and typhoon. Biodiversity <inaudible> 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 As the country is located inside the Indomalayan realm, Vietnam is one of 25 countries considered to possess a uniquely high level of biodiversity as also been stated in the country National Environmental Condition Report in 2005. It is ranked 16th worldwide in biological diversity, being home to approximately 16% of the world's species. 15,986 species of flora have been identified in the country, of which 10% are endemic, while Vietnam's fauna include 307 nematode species, 200 oligocata, 145 acarina, 113 springtails, 7,750 insects, 260 reptiles, 120 amphibians, 840 birds, and 310 mammals, of which 100 birds and 78 mammals are endemic. Vietnam has two World Natural Heritage Sites, the Ha Long Bay and Phong Nhak Bang National Park together with nine biosphere reserves including Can Geo Mangrove Forest, Cat Tien, Cat Ba, Kien Giang, the Red River Delta, Mekong Delta, Western Nguyen, Ka Mau and Siu Lao Cham Marine Park. Vietnam is furthermore home to 1,438 species of freshwater microalgae, constituting 9.6% of all microalgae species, as well as 794 aquatic invertebrates and 2,458 species of sea fish. In recent years, 13 genera, 222 species, and 30 taxa of flora have been newly described in Vietnam. Six new mammal species, including the Sayola, giant muntjac and Tonkin snub-nosed monkey have also been discovered, along with one new bird species, the endangered Edwards's pheasant. In the late 1980s, a small population of Javan rhinoceros was found in Cat Tien National Park. However, the last individual of the species in Vietnam was reportedly shot in 2010. In agricultural genetic diversity, Vietnam is one of the world's 12 original cultivar centers. The Vietnam National Cultivar Gene Bank preserves 12,300 cultivars of 115 species. The Vietnamese government spent $49.07 million on the preservation of biodiversity in 2004 alone, and has established 126 conservation areas, including 30 national parks. Environment. In Vietnam, poaching had become a main issue for their wildlife. Since 2000, a non-governmental organization NGO called Education for Nature Vietnam have been founded to instill the importance of wildlife conservation in the country. 
Following this, the seeds of the conservation movement starting to bloom with the foundation of another NGO called GreenViet by Vietnamese youngsters for the enforcement of wildlife protection. Through collaboration between the NGO and local authorities, many local poaching syndicates managed to be crippled with the arrestment of their leaders. As Vietnam have also become the main destination for rhinoceros horn illegal export from South Africa, a study in 2018 found the demands are due to medical and health-related reasons. The main environmental concern that persists in Vietnam until present is the chemical herbicide legacy of Agent Orange that causing birth defects and many health problems towards Vietnamese residents especially in the southern and central areas that was affected most by the chemicals with nearly 4.8 million Vietnamese have been exposed. In 2012, approximately 50 years after the war, the United States began to start a $43 million joint cleanup project in the former chemical storage areas in Vietnam that was heavily affected with each clearance will be done through several phases. Following the completion of the first phase in Da Nang in late 2017, the United States announced its further commitment to clean other sites especially in another heavily impact site of Bien Hoa which is four times larger than the previous site with an additional estimate cost of $390 million. The Vietnamese government spends over VN 10 trillion each year .1 million for monthly allowance and physical rehabilitation of the Vietnamese victims caused by the chemicals. In 2018, Japanese engineering group, Shimizu Corporation also working with Vietnamese military to build a plant in Vietnam for the treatment of Agent Orange polluted soils with the plant construction costs to be funded by the company itself. One of the long-term plan to restore the southern Vietnam damaged ecosystems is through reforestation efforts which the Vietnamese government having done since the end of the war, starting with the replantation of mangrove forests in the Mekong Delta regions and in Congeo outside of the main city where mangroves are important to prevent more serious flooding during the monsoon seasons. Apart from herbicide problems, arsenic exposure to ground water in the Mekong Delta and Red River Delta also become a major concern, along with unexploded ordnance that poses dangers towards human and habitat life as another bitter legacy from the long wars. As part of the continuous campaign for demining, removal of UXO, various international bomb removal agency including those from the United Kingdom, Denmark, South Korea as well the United States itself has providing help in the process with the Vietnam government spends over VN 1 trillion $44 million annually on demining operations and another hundreds billions of dong for treatment, assistance, rehabilitation, vocational training and resettlement for the victims of UXOs. Apart from the explosive removal from the legacy of civil war, the neighboring Chinese government also has removed 53,000 land mines and explosives from the legacy of war between the two countries in an area of 18.4 square kilometers in neighboring province of Yunnan between the China-Vietnam border in 2017. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Government and Politics. Vietnam is a unitary Marxist-Leninist one-party socialist republic, one of the two communist states the other being Laos in Southeast Asia. Although Vietnam remains officially committed to socialism as its defining creed, its economic policies have grown increasingly capitalist, with The Economist characterizing its leadership as ardently capitalist communists. Under the Constitution, the Communist Party of Vietnam CPV asserts their role in all branches of politics and society in the country. The President is the elected head of state and the Commander-in-Chief of the military, serving as the Chairman of the Council of Supreme Defense and Security, holds the second highest office in Vietnam as well as performing executive functions and state appointments and setting policy. The General Secretary of the CPV performs numerous key administrative functions, controlling the party's national organization. The Prime Minister is the head of government, presiding over a council of ministers composed of five deputy prime ministers and the heads of 26 ministries and commissions. Only political organizations affiliated with or endorsed by the CPV are permitted to contest elections in Vietnam. These include the Vietnamese Fatherland Front and worker and trade unionist parties. The National Assembly of Vietnam is the unicameral legislature of the state, composed of 498 members. The legislature is open to all parties. Headed by a chairman, it is superior to both the executive and judicial branches, with all government ministers being appointed from members of the National Assembly. 
The Supreme People's Court of Vietnam, headed by a Chief Justice, is the country's highest court of appeal, though it is also answerable to the National Assembly. Beneath the Supreme People's Court stand the provincial municipal courts and numerous local courts. Military courts possess special jurisdiction in matters of national security. Vietnam maintains the death penalty for numerous offenses. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Foreign Relations. Throughout its history, Vietnam's main foreign relationship has been with various Chinese dynasties. Following the partition of Vietnam, the relations are divided between relations with Eastern Bloc for North Vietnam while Western Bloc for South Vietnam. Despite the differences, Vietnam's sovereign principles and insistence on cultural independence have been laid down in numerous documents over the centuries since before its independence, such as the 11th century patriotic poem, Nam Quoc Sun Ha, and the 1428 Proclamation of Independence, Bin Go Dai Sao. Though China and Vietnam are now formally at peace, significant territorial tensions in the South China Sea remain between the two countries. Vietnam holds membership of 63 international organizations, including the United Nations UN, Association of Southeast Asian Nations ASEAN, Non-Aligned Movement NAM, International Organization of the Francophonie, La Francophonie and World Trade Organization WTO. It also maintains relations with over 650 non-government organizations. Until 2010, Vietnam had established diplomatic relations with 178 countries. Vietnam's current foreign policy is to implement consistently the policy of independence, self-reliance, peace, cooperation and development as well the openness and diversification, multilateralization of international relations, with the country further declares itself as a friend and partner of all countries in the international community regardless of their political affiliation by actively taking part in international and regional cooperation especially in country development. Since 1990s, several key steps had been taken by Vietnam to restore diplomatic ties with Western countries. Relations with the United States began to improve in August 1995 with both nations upgraded their liaison offices to an embassy status. As diplomatic ties between the two nations grew, the United States opened a consulate general in Ho Chi Minh City while Vietnam opened its consulate in San Francisco. Full diplomatic relations were also restored with New Zealand who opened its embassy in Hanoi in 1995, while Vietnam established an embassy in Wellington in 2003. Pakistan also reopened its embassy in Hanoi in October 2000 with Vietnam reopened their embassy in Islamabad in December 2005 and trade office in Karachi in November 2005. In May 2016, U.S. President Barack Obama further normalized relations with Vietnam after he announced the lifting of an arms embargo on sales of lethal arms to Vietnam. Military The Vietnam People's Armed Forces consists of the Vietnam People's Army, the Vietnam People's Public Security and the Vietnam Civil Defense Force. The Vietnam People's Army VPA is the official name for the active military services of Vietnam, and is subdivided into the Vietnam People's Ground Forces, the Vietnam People's Navy, the Vietnam People's Air Force, the Vietnam Border Defense Force and the Vietnam Coast Guard. The VPA has an active manpower of around 450,000, but its total strength, including paramilitary forces, may be as high as 5 million. In 2015, Vietnam's military expenditure totaled approximately $4.4 billion, equivalent to around 8% of their total government spending. Joint military exercises and war games also being held with Brunei, India, Japan, Laos, Russia, Singapore and the United States. Administrative divisions Vietnam is divided into 58 provinces Vietnamese, Tin, from the Chinese Sheng, Sheng. There are also five municipalities Tan Phu Truc Thuoc Trung Uang, which are administratively on the same level as provinces. The provinces are subdivided into provincial municipalities Tan Phu Truc Thuoc Tin, townships Txa, and counties Huyen, which are in turn subdivided into towns T Tran, or communes Exa. The centrally controlled municipalities are subdivided into districts Quan and counties, which are further subdivided into wards Topic: <inaudible> 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 
Topic: <inaudible> Economy. <inaudible> Throughout the history of Vietnam, its economy has been largely on agriculture based on wet rice cultivation. There is also an industry for bauxite mining in central Vietnam, an important material for the production of aluminium. Since reunification, the country economy is shaped primarily by the Communist Party of Vietnam CPV through the five-year plans which are being decided from the plenary sessions of the Central Committee and National Congresses. The collectivization of farms, factories and capital goods was carried out as components in establishing central planning, with millions of people working in state enterprises. Despite strict state control, Vietnam's economy continued to be plagued with inefficiency and corruption in state-owned enterprises, poor quality and underproduction. With the decrease of Soviet economic aid as the main trading partners for Vietnam following the erosion of the Eastern Bloc in the late 1980s and subsequent Soviet Union collapse in addition to the negative impacts from the post-war trade embargo imposed by the United States, Vietnam began to liberalize its trade by devaluing its exchange rate to increase exports and embark on a policy of economic development. In 1986, the Sixth National Congress of the CPV introduced socialist-oriented market economic reforms as part of the Doi Moi reform program with private ownership began to be encouraged in industries, commerce and agriculture and state enterprises were restructured to operate under market constraints, resulting the old-fashioned five-year economic plans are being replaced with socialist market mechanism. As a result of these reforms, Vietnam achieved around 8% annual gross domestic product GDP growth between 1990 and 1997, with the United States also ended its economic embargo against Vietnam in early 1994. Despite the 1997 Asian financial crisis affecting Vietnam and causing economic slowdown to 4–5% growth per annum, its economy began to recover in 1999, with growth at an annual rate of around 7% from 2000 to 2005 and making the country as one of the world's fastest growing economies. According to General Statistics Office of Vietnam GSO, growth remained strong even in the face of the late 2000s global recession, holding at 6.8% in 2010, although Vietnam's year-on-year -year inflation rate hit 11.8% in December 2010 with the country currency, the Vietnamese dong are being devalued three times. Deep poverty which defined as the percentage of the population living on less than $1 per day has declined significantly in Vietnam and the relative poverty rate is now less than that of China, India and the Philippines. This decline in the poverty rate can be attributed to equitable economic policies aimed at improving living standards and preventing the rise of inequality. These policies have included egalitarian land distribution during the initial stages of the Doi Moi program, investment in poorer remote areas, and subsidizing of education and healthcare. Since the early 2000s, Vietnam has applied sequenced trade liberalization, a two track approach opening some sectors of the economy to international markets. Manufacturing, information technology and high-tech industries now form a large and fast-growing part of the national economy. Though Vietnam is a relative newcomer to the oil industry, it is currently the third largest oil producer in Southeast Asia with a total 2011 output of 318,000 barrels per day 50,600 cubic meters, d. In 2010, Vietnam was ranked as the eighth largest crude petroleum producers in the Asia and Pacific region. The United States was the country that purchased the highest amount of Vietnam's exports, while goods from China were the most popular Vietnamese import. As a result of several land reform measures, Vietnam has become a major exporter of agricultural products. It is now the world's largest producer of cashew nuts, with a one-third global share, the largest producer of black pepper, accounting for one-third of the world's market, and the second-largest rice exporter in the world after Thailand since the 1990s. Subsequently, Vietnam is also the world's second largest exporter of coffee. The country has the highest proportion of land use for permanent crops together with other nations in the greater Mekong subregion. Other primary exports include tea, rubber and fishery products although agriculture's share of Vietnam's GDP has fallen in recent decades, declining from 42% in 1989 to 20% in 2006 as production in other sectors of the economy has risen. According to a December 2005 forecast by Goldman Sachs, the Vietnamese economy will become the world's 21st largest by 2025, with an estimated nominal GDP of $436 billion and a nominal GDP per capita of $4,357. 
Based on a findings by International Monetary Fund IMF in 2012, the unemployment rate in Vietnam stood at 4.46%. Along the same year, Vietnam's nominal GDP reached $138 billion, with a nominal GDP per capita of $1,527. The HSBC also predicted that Vietnam's total GDP would surpass those of Norway, Singapore and Portugal by 2050. Another forecast by PricewaterhouseCoopers in 2008 stating that Vietnam may be the fastest growing of the world's emerging economies by 2025, with a potential growth rate of almost 10% per annum in real dollar terms. Apart from the primary sector economy, tourism has contributed significantly to Vietnam's economic growth with 7.94 million foreign visitors are recorded in 2015. Topic: <laughs> Science and Technology. In 2010, Vietnam's total state spending on science and technology equaled around 0.45% of its GDP. Since the dynastic era, Vietnamese scholars has developed many academic fields especially in social sciences and humanities. Vietnam has a millennium-deep legacy of analytical histories, such as the Dai Viet Su Kentucky Tone II of Go Si Lin. Vietnamese monks led by the abdicated Emperor Tran Nan Tong developed the Truc Lam Zen branch of philosophy in the 13th century. Arithmetics and geometry have been widely taught in Vietnam since the 15th century, using the textbook Dai Ton Ton Phap by Luang the Vinh as a basis. Luang the Vinh introduced Vietnam to the notion of zero, while Mac Hien Tic used the term Sun an unknown, secret, hidden number, to refer to negative numbers. Vietnamese scholars furthermore produced numerous encyclopedias, such as Le Cai Don's Van Dai Lo I Nu. In modern times, Vietnamese scientists have made many significant contributions in various fields of study, most notably in mathematics. Hoang Toi pioneered the applied mathematics field of global optimization in the 20th century, while Go Bao Chao won the 2010 Fields Medal for his proof of fundamental lemma in the theory of automorphic forms. Since the establishment of Vietnam Academy of Science and Technology VAST by the government in 1975, the country is working to develop its first national space flight program especially after the completion of the infrastructure of Vietnam Space Center in 2018. Vietnam has also made significant advances in the development of robots, such as the Topio humanoid model. Vietnam's main messaging apps, Zalo is developed by Vong Quang Kai, a Vietnamese hacker who later worked with the country largest information technology service company, the FPT Group. According to the UNESCO Institute for Statistics, Vietnam devoted 0.19% of its GDP for science research and development in 2011. Between 2005 and 2014, the number of scientific publications recorded in Thomson Reuters' Web of Science increased at a rate well above the average for Southeast Asia, albeit from a modest starting point. Publications focus mainly on life sciences 22%, physics 13%, and engineering 13%, which is consistent with recent advances in the production of diagnostic equipment and shipbuilding. Almost 77% of all papers published between 2008 and 2014 had at least one international co-author. The autonomy which Vietnamese research centers have enjoyed since the mid-1990s has enabled many of them to operate as quasi-private organizations, providing services such as consulting and technology development. Some have spun off from the larger institutions to form their own semi-private enterprises, fostering the transfer of public sector science and technology personnel to these semi-private establishments. One comparatively new university, the Tun Duc Thang University which built in 1997 has already set up 13 centers for technology transfer and services that together produce 15% of university revenue. Many of these research centers serve as valuable intermediaries bridging public research institutions, universities and firms. Infrastructure Transport Much of Vietnam's modern transportation network traced its roots since the French colonial era where it was used to facilitate the transportation of raw materials to main ports before being extensively expanded and modernized following the partition of Vietnam. 
Vietnam's road system includes national roads administered at the central level, provincial roads managed at the provincial level, district roads managed at the district level, urban roads managed by cities and towns and commune roads managed at the commune level. In 2010, Vietnam road system has a total length of about 188,744 kilometers, 117,280 miles, with 93,535 kilometers, 58,120 miles are asphalt road comprising national, provincial and district roads. The national road system length is about 15,370 kilometers, 9,550 miles, with 15,085 kilometers, 9,373 miles of its length are paved. The provincial road has around 27,976 kilometers, 17,383 miles paved road, while district road has 50,474 kilometers, 31,363 miles paved road. Bicycles, motor Motorcycles and motor scooters remain the most popular forms of road transport in the country as one of the legacy of French through transportation although the number of privately owned cars have been rising in recent years. Public buses operated by private companies are the main mode of long-distance travel for much of the population. Road accidents remain the major safety issue in Vietnamese transportation with an average of 30 people lost their lives daily, while traffic congestion is a growing problem in both major cities of Hanoi and Ho Chi Minh City especially with the growing of individual car ownership. Vietnam's primary cross-country rail service is the Reunification Express from Ho Chi Minh City to Hanoi with a distance of nearly 1,726 kilometres from Hanoi, railway lines branch out to the northeast, north and west. The eastbound line runs from Hanoi to Ha Long Bay, the northbound line from Hanoi to Tai Nguyen, and the northeast line from Hanoi to Lao Cai. In 2009, Vietnam and Japan signed a deal to build a high speed railway by using the technology of Japanese Shinkansen. Numerous Vietnamese engineers were later sent to Japan to receive training in the operation and maintenance of high speed trains. The planned railway will be a 1,545 kilometers (960 miles) long express route, serving a total of 23 stations, including in Hanoi and Ho Chi Minh City. With 70% of its route will running on bridges and through underground tunnels, while the trains will traveling at a maximum speed of 350 kilometers (220 miles) per hour. The plan for the country first high-speed rail however are being postponed with the Vietnamese government made a decision to putting the main priority on the development of both Hanoi Metro and Ho Chi Minh City Metro as well the expansion of road networks instead. Vietnam operates 20 major civil airports, including three international gateways, Noi Bai in Hanoi, Da Nang International Airport in Da Nang and Tan Son Yat in Ho Chi Minh City. Tan Son Yat is the nation's largest airport by which it handling the majority of international passenger traffic. According to a state-approved plan, Vietnam will have another seven international airports by 2015. These include Vinh International Airport, Phu Bai International Airport, Cam Ranh International Airport, Phu Quoc International Airport, Cat Bai International Airport, Can Tho International Airport and Long Thanh International Airport. The planned Long Tan International Airport will have an annual service capacity of 100 million passengers once it becomes fully operational in 2025. Vietnam Airlines, the state-owned national airline maintains a fleet of 86 passenger aircraft and aims to operate 170 by 2020. Several private airlines are also in operation in Vietnam, including Air Mekong, Jetstar Pacific Airlines, Vasco and Vietjet Air. As a coastal country, Vietnam has many major sea ports, including Cam Ranh, Da Nang, Hai Phong, Ho Chi Minh City, Ha Long, Ki Nan, Vung Tau, Kua Lo and Nha Trang. Further inland, the country's extensive network of rivers play a key role in rural transportation with over 47,130 kilometers miles of navigable waterways carrying ferries, barges and water taxis. Energy Vietnam's energy sector is largely dominated by Electricity of Vietnam nationwide. As of 2017, EVN contributed about 61.4% of the country power generation system with a total power capacity of 25,884 megawatts. 
Other energy source are distributed by PetroVietnam 4435 Vinacaman 1785 and by Build Operate Transfer Bot with other investors 10031 Most of the powers are generated from either hydropower, fossil fuel power such as coal, oil and gas while the remaining are from diesel, small hydropower and renewable energy. The Vietnamese government also previously planning to develop their first nuclear reactor as the path to establish another source of electric energy from nuclear power but the plan was abandoned in late 2016 with a majority oppose vote through the country National Assembly due to large concerns from Vietnamese society over radioactive contamination. The household gas sector in Vietnam is dominated by Petro Vietnam which controls nearly 70% of the country domestic market for liquefied petroleum gas LPG. Since 2011, the company also operating five renewable energy power plants including the non-track 2 thermal power plant 750 megawatts, Fukai wind power plant 6 megawatts, Hoa Na hydro power plant 180 megawatts, Dakdrin hydro power plant 125 megawatts and Vung Ang 1 thermal power plant 1200 megawatts. According to statistics by the British Petroleum BP, Vietnam is listed among the 52 countries that have oil and gas potential in the world with proven crude oil reserves of the country in 2015 were approximately 4.4 billion barrels and ranked first place in Southeast Asia, while the proven gas reserves were about 0.6 trillion cubic meters TCM and ranked the third place in Southeast Asia after Indonesia and Malaysia. Health By 2015, 97% of the population had access to improved water sources. In 2016, Vietnam's national life expectancy stood at 80.9 years for women and 71.5 for men, and the infant mortality rate was 17 per 1,000 live births. Despite these improvements, malnutrition is still common in the rural provinces. Since the partition, North Vietnam has established a public health system that reached down to the hamlet level. After the national reunification in 1975, a nationwide health service was established. In the late 1980s, the quality of healthcare declined to some degree as a result of budgetary constraints, a shift of responsibility to the provinces and the introduction of charges. Inadequate funding has also contributed to a shortage of nurses, midwives, and hospital beds. In 2000, Vietnam had only 24.7 hospital beds per 10,000 people before declining to 23.7 in 2005, as stated in the annual report of Vietnamese Health Ministry. The controversial use of herbicides as a chemical weapon by the U.S. military during the war has left tangible, long term impacts upon the Vietnamese people that still persists in the country until present. For instance, it led to 3 million Vietnamese people suffering health problems, 1 million birth defects caused directly by exposure to the chemical and 24% of the area of Vietnam being defoliated. Since the early 2000s, Vietnam has made significant progress in combating malaria, with the malaria mortality rate falling to about 5% of its 1990s equivalent by 2005, after the country introduced improved anti-malarial drugs and treatment. Tuberculosis TB cases however are on the rise which become the second most infectious diseases in the country after respiratory-related illness. With an intensified vaccination program, better hygiene and foreign assistance, Vietnam hopes to reduce sharply the number of TB cases and annual new TB infections. In 2004, government subsidies covering about 15% of health care expenses. Along the same year, the United States announced that Vietnam would be one of 15 nations to receive funding as part of its global AIDS relief plan. By the following year, Vietnam had diagnosed 101,291 human immunodeficiency virus HIV cases, of which 16,528 progressed to acquired immune deficiency syndrome with 9,554 have died. The actual number of HIV-positive individuals is estimated to be much higher as on average as between 40 to 50 new infections are reported daily in the country. In 2007, 0.4% of the population is estimated to be infected with HIV and the figure has remained stable since 2005. More global aid are being delivered through the Global Fund to fight AIDS, tuberculosis and malaria to fight the spread of the diseases in the country. 
In September 2018, the Hanoi People's Committee urged the citizens of the country to stop eating dog and cat meat as it can cause other diseases like rabies and leptospirosis as more than 1,000 stores in the capital city of Hanoi are found to be selling both meats. The decision received positive comments among Vietnamese society on social media despite many still disagreed as it has been a habit that couldn't be resisted. Education Vietnam has an extensive state-controlled network of schools, colleges and universities and a growing number of privately run and partially privatized institutions. General education in Vietnam is divided into five categories, kindergarten, elementary schools, middle schools, high schools, and universities. A large number of public schools have been constructed across the country to raise the national literacy rate, which stood at 90% in 2008. Most universities are located in major cities of Hanoi and Ho Chi Minh City with the country education system continuously undergoing a series of reform by the government. Basic education in the country is relatively free for the poor although some families may still have trouble paying tuition fee for their children without some form of public or private assistance. Regardless, school enrollment is among the highest in the world, and the number of colleges and universities increased dramatically in the 2000s from 178 in 2000 to 299 in 2005. In higher education, the government provides subsidized loans for students through National Bank although there are deep concerns about its access as well the burdens among students in repaying. Since 1995, enrollment in higher education has grown tenfold to over 2.2 million with 84,000 lecturers and 419 institutions of higher education. A number of foreign universities operate private campuses in Vietnam, including Harvard University USA and the Royal Melbourne Institute of Technology Australia. The government's strong commitment to education has fostered significant growth but still need to be sustained to retain academics. In 2018, a decree on university autonomy to operate independently without a ministry control above their heads are in its final stages of approval with the government will continue to investing in education especially for the poor to have access on basic education. Demographics <inaudible> 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 As of 2016, the population of Vietnam standing at approximately 94.6 million people. The population had grown significantly from the 1979 census, which showed the total population of reunified Vietnam to be 52.7 million. In 2012, the country's population was estimated at approximately 90.3 million. Based on the 2009 census, 70.4% of the Vietnamese population are living in rural areas while only 29.6% living in urban areas although the average growth rate of the urban population have recently increasing which mainly attributed to migration and rapid urbanization. The dominant Viet or Kin ethnic group constituted nearly 73.6 million people or 85.8% of the population, with most of their population is concentrated mainly in the alluvial deltas and coastal plains of the country. As a majority ethnic group, the Kin possess significant political and economic influence over the country. Despite this, Vietnam is also home to other 54 ethnic minority groups, including the Hmong, Dao, Tay, Thai and Nung. Many ethnic minorities such as the Muong who are closely related to the Kin dwell in the highlands which cover two-thirds of Vietnam's territory. Other uplanders in the north migrated from southern China between 1300s and 1800s. Since the partition of Vietnam, the population of the central highlands was almost exclusively Dagar including over 40 tribal groups. However, the South Vietnamese government at the time enacted a program of resettling Kin in indigenous areas. The Hoa ethnic Chinese and Khmer Krom people are mainly lowlanders. Throughout Vietnam history, many Chinese people mainly from South China migrated to the country as administrators, merchants and even refugees. Since the reunification in 1976 with the increase of communist policies nationwide that resulting the nationalization of property and subsequently causing many rich people property in the city especially among the Hoa in the south are being confiscated by the government, this has led many of them to leave Vietnam. 
Furthermore, with the deteriorating Sino-Vietnamese relations as a result of border invasion by Chinese government in 1979 which added by doubtful among Vietnamese society on the Chinese government intention had indirectly causing more Hoa people in the north to leave the country. Languages <inaudible> 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 The official national language of the country is Vietnamese Viet, a tonal Austroasiatic languages Mon Khmer, which is spoken by the majority of the population. In its early history, Vietnamese writing used Chinese characters before a different meaning set of Chinese characters known as Chu Nam developed between the 7th–13th century. The folk epic Trian Kiu, the Tale of Kiu, originally known as Don Trong Tan Tan by Nguyen Du was written in Chu Nam. Quoc Nu as the Romanized Vietnamese alphabet used for spoken Vietnamese, was developed in the 17th century by the Jesuit Alexander de Rhodes and several other Catholic missionaries by using the alphabets of Romance languages, particularly the Portuguese alphabet which later became widely used through Vietnamese institutions during the French colonial period. Vietnam's minority groups speak a variety of languages, including Tay, Muong, Cham, Khmer, Chinese, Nung and Mung. The Montagnard peoples of the Central Highlands also speak a number of distinct languages as their language is derived from both the Austroasiatic and Malayo-Polynesian language groups. In recent years, a number of sign languages have developed in the major cities. The French language, a legacy of colonial rule, is spoken by many educated Vietnamese as a second language, especially among the older generation and those educated in the former South Vietnam, where it was a principal language in administration, education and commerce. Vietnam remains a full member of the International Organization of the Francophonie and education has revived some interest in the language. Russian and to a much lesser extent German, Czech and Polish are known among some northern Vietnamese whose families had ties with the Eastern Bloc during the Cold War. With improved relations with Western countries and recent reforms in Vietnamese administration, English has been increasingly used as a second language and the study of English is now obligatory in most schools either alongside or in place of French. The popularity of Japanese and Korean have also grown as the country's ties with other East Asian nations have strengthened. Topic. Religion Under the Article 70 of the 1992 Constitution of Vietnam, every of the country citizens are given the rights for freedom of religion by the government, by which every person can follow any religion or become irreligious with all religions are considered as equal with a condition that any religious beliefs cannot be misused to undermine state law and policies with their place of worship are protected under Vietnamese state law. According to a survey in 2007, 81% of the Vietnamese people do not believe in a god. Based on a new government findings in 2009, the number of religious people have increased by 932,000 people. Through the latest official statistics presented by the Vietnamese government to United Nations Special Rapporteur in 2014, the overall number of followers of recognized religions is about 24 million from the total population of almost 90 million. Formally recognized religious communities include 11 million Buddhists, 6.2 million Catholics, 1.4 million Protestants, 4.4 million Kaudaism's followers, 1.3 million Hoahaism Buddhists as well as 75,000 Muslims, 7,000 Baha'is and 1,500 Hindus. Mahayana is the dominant branch of Buddhism among the Kin majority who follows religion, while Theravada are practiced in almost entirely by the Khmer minority. About 7% of the population are Christians, totaling around 6 million Roman Catholics and 1 million Protestants. Catholicism have been introduced to Vietnam by nearby Portuguese missionaries Jesuits from Portuguese Macau and Malacca towards Annam and from remnants of the persecuted Japanese Catholic between the 16th and 17th centuries before being massively propagated by French missionaries aided by Spanish missionaries Dominicans from neighboring Spanish East Indies towards Tonkin in the 19th and 20th centuries. A significant number of Vietnamese people are also adherents of Kaudaism, an indigenous folk religion which has structured itself on the model of the Catholic Church together with another Buddhist section of Hoahaoism. Protestantism was only recently spread by American and Canadian missionaries throughout the modern Civil War, where it was largely accepted among the highland Montagnards of South Vietnam. 
The largest Protestant churches are the Southern Evangelical Church of Vietnam and the Evangelical Church of Vietnam North with around 770,000 of the country Protestants come from members of ethnic minorities. Although it is one of the country minority religion and has a shorter history than Catholicism, Protestantism are found to be the country's fastest growing religion, expanding at a rate of 600% in recent decades. Several other minority faiths exist in Vietnam, these include Bani, Sunni and non-denominational section of Islam which is primarily practiced among the ethnic Cham minority, though there were also a few kin adherents of Islam along with other minority adherents of Baha'is as well Hindus among the Chams. Culture Vietnam's culture has developed over the centuries from indigenous ancient Dong Son culture with wet rice cultivation as its economic base. Some elements of the national culture have Chinese origins, drawing on elements of Confucianism, Mahayana Buddhism and Taoism in its traditional political system and philosophy. Vietnamese society is structured around Lang ancestral villages. All Vietnamese mark a common ancestral anniversary on the tenth day of the third lunar month. The influence of Chinese cultures such as the Cantonese, Hakka, Hokkien and Hainanese cultures are more evidenced in the north with the national religion of Buddhism is strongly entwined with popular culture. In the central and southern part, traces of Champa and Khmer culture are evidenced through the remains of ruins, artifacts as well within their population as the successor of the ancient Sawin culture. In recent centuries, the influence of Western cultures have become popular among newer Vietnamese generations. The traditional focuses of Vietnamese culture are based on humanity and harmony in which family and community values are highly regarded. Vietnam reveres a number of key cultural symbols, such as the Vietnamese dragon which is derived from crocodile and snake imagery. Vietnam's national father, Lac Long Quan is depicted as a holy dragon. The Lac is a holy bird representing Vietnamese national mother of O Co as another prominent symbol, while turtle, buffalo and horse images are also revered. In the modern era, the cultural life of Vietnam has been deeply influenced by government-controlled media and cultural programs. For many decades, foreign cultural influences especially those of Western origin were shunned. But since the recent Reformation, Vietnam has seen a greater exposure to neighboring Southeast Asian, East Asian as well to Western culture and media. The main Vietnamese formal dress, the Ao Dai is worn for special occasions such as in weddings and religious festivals. White Ao Dai is the required uniform for girls in many high schools across the country. Other examples of traditional Vietnamese clothing include the Ao Tu Than, a four-piece woman's dress, the Ao Nu, a form of the Than in five-piece form, mostly worn in the north of the country, the Yem, a woman's undergarment, the Ao Ba Ba, rural working, pajamas, for men and women, the Ao Gam, a formal brocade tunic for government receptions, and the Ao The, a variant of the Ao Gam worn by grooms at weddings. Traditional headwear includes the standard conical nonla and the lampshade-like. Non -ki -thau. In tourism, a number of popular cultural tourist destinations include the former imperial capital of Wei, the World Heritage Sites of Phong Nhak Bang National Park, Hoi An and Mai Sun, coastal regions such as Nha Trang, the caves of Ha Long Bay and the Marble Mountains. <laughs> <laughs> Literature Vietnamese literature has a centuries-deep history and the country has a rich tradition of folk literature based on the typical six- to eight-verse poetic form named Ca Dao which usually focuses on village ancestors and heroes. Written literature has been found dating back to the 10th century Go dynasty, with notable ancient authors including Nguyen Trai, Tran Hung Dao, Nguyen Du and Nguyen Din Chu. Some literary genres play an important role in theatrical performance, such as Hat Noi in Ca Tru. Some poetic unions have also been formed in Vietnam, such as the Dao Dan. Vietnamese literature has in recent times been influenced by Western styles, with the first literary transformation movement of Tho Moi emerging in 1932. Music Traditional Vietnamese music varies between the country's northern and southern regions. Northern classical music is Vietnam's oldest musical form and is traditionally more formal. 
The origins of Vietnamese classical music can be traced since the Mongol invasions in the 13th century when the Vietnamese captured a Chinese opera troupe. Throughout its history, Vietnamese has been the most heavily impacted by the Chinese musical tradition as an integral part along with Japan, Korea and Mongolia. Na Nok is the most popular form of imperial court music. Chio is a form of generally satirical musical theater. Zam or Hat Zam Zam singing is a type of Vietnamese folk music. Quan Ho alternate singing is popular in the former Ha Bac province which is now divided into Bac Ninh and Bac Giang provinces and across Vietnam. Hat Chow Van or Hat Van is a spiritual form of music used to invoke spirits during ceremonies. Nok Dan Tok Kai Bien is a modern form of Vietnamese folk music which arose in the 1950s while Ca Tru also known as Hat A Dao is a popular folk music. Ho cannot be thought of as the southern style of Quan Ho. There are a range of traditional instruments, including the Dan Bao a monochord zither, the Dan Gao a two-stringed fiddle with coconut body, and the Dan Wei a two-stringed fretted moon lute. Bolero music also has gained its position in the country since 1930s, albeit with a different style from a combination between traditional Vietnamese music with Western elements. Cuisine <coughs> <coughs> Vietnamese cuisine traditionally features a combination of five fundamental taste elements: Vietnamese, nu vi, spicy metal, sour wood, bitter fire, salty water, and sweet earth. Common ingredients include fish sauce, shrimp paste, soy sauce, rice, fresh herbs, fruits and vegetables. Vietnamese recipes use lemongrass, ginger, mint, Vietnamese mint, long coriander, Saigon cinnamon, bird's eye chili, lime and basil leaves. Traditional Vietnamese cooking is known for its fresh ingredients, minimal use of oil and reliance on herbs and vegetables where it is considered one of the healthiest cuisines worldwide. The use of such meats as pork, beef and chicken was relatively limited in the past, and as a result freshwater fish, crustaceans particularly crabs and mollusks became widely used. Fish sauce, soy sauce, prawn sauce and limes are among the main flavoring ingredients. There is an estimate of 40 Vietnamese dishes with many are usually served as a norm in the country street food culture. Many notable Vietnamese dishes such as bon goon ride noodle roll, bún riu rice vermicelli soup and pho noodles are originated from the north and were carried to central and southern Vietnam by northern migrants. Local foods in the north are often less spicy than southern dishes as the colder northern climate limits the production and availability of spices. Black pepper is used in place of chilies to produce spicy flavors. Vietnamese drinks in the south also are usually served cold with ice cube especially during the annual hot seasons compared to the north where hot drinks are much more preferable in colder climate. Some examples of basic Vietnamese drinks include ca phi da Vietnamese iced coffee, ca phi trung egg coffee, chan moi salted pickled lime juice, cam ro glutinous rice wine, nuk mia sugarcane juice and tra sen Vietnamese lotus tea. Topic: <laughs> Media Vietnam's media sector is regulated by the government in accordance with the 2004 law on publication. It is generally perceived that the country media sector is controlled by the government to follow the official Communist Party line, though some newspapers are relatively outspoken. The Voice of Vietnam is the official state-run national radio broadcasting service, broadcasting internationally via shortwave using rented transmitters in other countries and providing broadcasts from its website while Vietnam Television is the national television broadcasting company. Since 1997, Vietnam has extensively regulated public internet access using both legal and technical means. The resulting lockdown is widely referred to as the Bamboo Firewall. The collaborative project OpenNet initiative classifies Vietnam's level of online political censorship to be pervasive, while Reporters Without Borders RWB considers Vietnam to be one of 15 global internet enemies. Though the government of Vietnam maintains that such censorship is necessary to safeguard the country against obscene or sexual explicit content, many political and religious sensitive websites that was deemed to be undermining state authority are also being blocked. Holidays and festivals 
The country has 11 national recognized holidays which includes the New Year's Day on 1 January, Vietnamese New Year Tet from last day of the last lunar month to 5th day of the first lunar month, Hung King's commemorations on 10th day of the third lunar month, Day of Liberating the South for National Reunification on 30 April, International Workers' Day on 1 May and National Day Celebration on 2 September. During Tet, many Vietnamese from the major cities will return to their villages to gathering for family reunions and praying for dead ancestors. Older people will usually give the young a li shi red envelope while special holiday food of bon chung rice cake in a square shape together with variety of dried fruits as the festival sweets are presented in the house for visitors. Many other festivals are celebrated throughout the seasons in a year including the Lantern Festival Mid-Autumn Festival and various temple and nature festivals. In the highlands, elephant race festival are held annually during the spring where riders will ride their elephants for about 1.6 km with the winning elephant will be given sugarcane. Traditional Vietnamese weddings remain widely popular and are often celebrated by expatriate Vietnamese in western countries. In Vietnam, the dressing have been influenced by Western styles with the wearing of white wedding dresses and black tuxedos although there were also many who still preferring to choose Vietnamese traditional wedding costumes for traditional ceremonies. Sports The Vovinam, Kim K and Bin Din martial arts are widespread in Vietnam, while football is the country's most popular sport. Its national team won the ASEAN Football Championship in 2008, its junior team of under-23 became the runners-up of 2018 AFC U23 Championship and reached fourth place in 2018 Asian Games while the under-20 managed to qualify the 2017 FIFA U20 World Cup for the first time in their football history. Its women team also dominating the Southeast Asian Games with main rival of Thailand. Other Western sports such as badminton, tennis, volleyball, ping-pong and chess are also widely popular. Vietnam has participated in the Summer Olympic Games since 1952 when it competed as the state of Vietnam. After the partition of the country in 1954, only South Vietnam competed in the Games, sending athletes to the 1956 and 1972 Olympics. Since the reunification of Vietnam in 1976, it has competed as the Socialist Republic of Vietnam, attending every Summer Olympics from 1988 onwards. The present Vietnam Olympic Committee was formed in 1976 and recognized by the International Olympic Committee in 1979. Vietnam has never participated in the Winter Olympic Games. In 2016, Vietnam participated in the 2016 Summer Olympics where they won their first gold medal. In 2020, Vietnam will host the inaugural Formula One Vietnam Grand Prix in the city of Hanoi. See also Index of Vietnam-related articles Outline of Vietnam Footnotes Topic. Notes and references equals 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 notes. <laughs>